Many of you may wonder what a deliverance prayer is. Why do I need to pursue deliverance prayer? And for what reason do I need to pray a deliverance prayer? Seeking prayer points for spiritual deliverance can at times be confusing for many believers. Some may feel their lives is just fine and they have no issues. Or they may not feel that they are possessed by the devil. We know that God's word clearly defines the existence of Satan, of evil spirits, and of their attempt to disrupt our lives. The Bible tells us we have a body, soul, and spirit. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23, the word of God says, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that the Bible says we have a spirit, what is the function of it? The function of the spirit is spiritual. The spirit is the only way to connect with God. And we can only use the spirit if we believe in God and receive him through our Lord Jesus Christ's salvation. Romans 8 verse 4 tells us, In order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us, who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. We live in two different worlds. We live in a physical world and a spirit world. The spirit world is controlled by many angelic forces. Some are agents of the devil and others are for the one true God. All the things that take place in the physical realm where you can see, touch, taste with your senses manifested first in the spiritual realm. There are demonic forces that are working 24 hours a day to kill you or to stop you from becoming what God has created you to be. They are able to see your destiny and they will deter you from ever achieving it by getting you to commit sins. Once you have committed a sin, they'll have legal rights to come and add affliction into your life. Throughout God's word, we are assured of the existence of Satan and his evil works, as well as the final authority and power of God over them. We also are assured of our power over them through the Holy Spirit. If you ever were involved in the occult, watching the pornography, masturbation, tell a lie, had sex outside of marriage, you have just given legal rights to evil spirits to come into your life. This world is full of temptation. The purpose of them is to entice you, to have you to change the plans God had for you before you were born. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disasters, to give you a future and a hope. When these evil spirits enter your life, this will result in demonic presence, which will have the authority to oppress you. They will also create physical, psychological, spiritual, and emotional problems in your life. Prayer points for spiritual deliverance are used to cast out evil spirits out of your life, give you spiritual deliverance that will help you to overcome negative behavior, feelings, and experiences. When we pray for deliverance, you are in actuality reinforcing what Christ has already fulfilled for us. Once you believe in Jesus Christ and accept him as your Lord and Savior, the only thing you have to do is demand for the evil spirit to go, and they must go. The kingdom of Satan understands the authority of the name Jesus Christ, and they are very fearful of his authority. Therefore, they are required in his name, and in his name only, to let their captives free. In Philippians 2 verse 9 through 11, the Bible tells us, Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, of those in heaven, and those on earth, and those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation in the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I hereby forgive all other people for anything they have done against me, and I forgive myself for anything I have done or spoken against myself or others. 
I repent of any sins in my life or my ancestors' lives that have resulted in a curse. I repent of all fear, of all doubt and unbelief, disobedience, rebellion, perversion, any witchcraft and idolatry, loss and adultery, fornication, mistreatment of others, murder, cheating, lying, any sorcery and divination, or spiritual adultery and occult involvement. I ask for your forgiveness and cleansing through the blood and in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over and break any and every curse upon my life. I break all curses of poverty, of lack, of debt, of destruction, sickness and death, and vagabond. I break all curses upon my marriage, my children, my family, my relationships, my home, and my property. I break all curses of rejection, of rebellion, of pride, lust, any hurt, incest, any rape, any Ahab or Jezebel, any fear, insanity, madness, and confusion. I break all curses affecting my spirit, my soul, and body, my finances, sexual characters, my emotions, will, and relationships. I break every hex, every vex, every jinx, every spell and spoken curse over my life. I break every feather, every shackle, every chain, every cord, every habit and cycle that is result of a curse. According to Galatians 3 verse 13, I have been redeemed from the curse of the law by the sacrifice of Jesus. I exercise by faith in the name and the blood of Jesus and lose myself and my descendant from any and every curse. I claim forgiveness for the blood of Jesus for the sins of my fathers. All my sins have been remitted and I lose myself from the curse that came as a result of all disobedience and rebellion to the word of God. I exercise my faith and I know that confession is made unto salvation. Therefore I confess that Abraham's blessings are mine today. I am not cursed but blessed. I am the head and not to tell. I am above and not beneath. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. I am blessed and what God has blessed cannot be cursed. I commend the spirit of rejection, the spirit of hurt and bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, offense, bondage and torment, torture and affliction, death and hell and destruction, fear, doubt and unbelief. I commend all incubus and succubus spirits, spirit spouses, all sexual demons, all lust of perversion, immorality and compromise, spirit of mind control, Jezebel, witchcraft, sorcery and divination. I commend poverty lack, death, bankruptcy, and foreclosure. I commend confusion, double-mindedness, mental illness, sickness, infirmity, cancer, heart attack, stroke, diabetes, and pain. I commend divorce, separation, strife, contention, depression, despair, sadness, loneliness, self-pity, self-destruction, self-rejection, anger, rage, wrath, any anguish, frustration, any abuse and addiction to come out of me now. I command you to come out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lose myself from all relationships that are not ordained of God, all relationships that are not of the spirit but of the flesh, all relationships based on control and domination or manipulation, and all relationships based on lust and deception. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose all members of my body, including my mind, memory, my eyes and ears, my tongue, my hands, my feet, and my entire sexual character from all loss, from perversion, from sexual impurity, from uncleanness, promiscuity, pornography, fornication, homosexuality, any fantasy, filthiness, burning passion, uncontrollable sex drive, incubus and succubus demons, spirit spouse and sexual demon. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose myself from the effect of all bad memories, painful memories, and memories of the past that will hinder me in the presence or future. I lose myself from all occult involvement, all sorcery, all divination, witchcraft, psychic inheritance, any rebellion, confusion, sickness, and death, destruction as a result of any occult involvement. Cut off all communication lines between the second heaven and myself in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority given to me to bind and loose, I lose my emotion from every spirit that have come in as a result of experiences of the past. I lose myself from all hurt, any deep hurt, any pain, any sadness, any grief or anger, any hatred, any rage or bitterness, any fear, all bound and black emotions. I command this spirit to come out and I decree freedom to my emotions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I lose my mouth from all spirit of my control, confusion, mental bondage, insanity, madness, any fantasy, 
mind blocking, lust and evil thinking. I lose myself from all guilt, all shame, all condemnation, self-condemnation, any self-hatred, self-loathing, self-accusation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose my will from all control, domination, and manipulation from Satan, his demon, and any other people. In the name of Jesus, I lose myself from all lust, all rebellion, stubbornness, any pride, any self-will, selfishness, any anti-submissiveness spirit that black and handle my will. I break and loose myself from all chain around my will, and I submit my will to the will of God. I hereby forgive all other people for anything they have done against me, and I forgive myself for anything I have done or spoken against myself or others in Jesus' name. I break all generational curses on both sides of my family back to Adam and Eve, and I loose myself and my seed from the effects thereof. I hereby break all curses standing against me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I destroy, I cancel, vacate and break any judgment I may have made and stated against any other people or myself, including those that have been spoken against me. These judgments are not broken tonight, null and void, and I am free. Father, please forgive me for pronouncing unrighteousness judgment on them or myself. I leave judgment to you. Help me judge righteously. I commend all evil spirits that have come to this unrighteous judgment to go to the feet of Jesus. The men of judgment, in the name of Jesus, I command you to go now, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break the power of any curses or judgment that others may have spoken over me. I cancel any curses I might have spoken over them or myself. I cancel any ungodly vows, any confidence or agreement that I may have made or enter into. All generational curses must be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, please forgive me and my ancestors for all ungodliness. I cancel, I remove, and uproot all iniquity from all my ancestors, me and my seed, my spirit, my soul and body. I command the very substance of iniquity to be removed from all parts of my body, my soul and spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place the cross of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus between my parents and me at conception. No ancestral curses or assignments can come through the cross and the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. I also terminate in Jesus' name any ungodly soul tie that exists between anyone and myself. I do this spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, and sexually, and I command all evil spirit that come through these soul ties to go to the feet of Jesus tonight. Any controlling spirit coming through any of my family members, any associate demons must go tonight in Jesus' name. I take my mind in my head, my mind in my heart, and my body memory in my muscles and organs and cast all evil imprints, any deposit, any seed pods, any poison, any contamination down and out of me in the name of Jesus Christ. And I replace them with the mind of Christ, the blood of Christ, and the cleansing fire and power of the Holy Spirit tonight. I ask for and receive the mind of Christ, pure and clean by faith. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for cleansing my mind and body. Fill me and renew me by the Holy Spirit. Baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire tonight, Father. Lead me in the way of life, God and Messiah, by your Spirit in my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your pure life in me. Father God, I call on breakthrough angels to release breakthrough in my life tonight. I call on angels of the Most High God to bring about divine connection, divine appointments with anyone that has anything to do with my destiny. I call on provision angels to release provision tonight. I call on warring angels with sword draw to destroy the stronghold of the enemy in my life tonight. I call on the healing angels to release healing in Jesus' mighty name. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge to you that I have sinned and have done things against God's condemnation. I am so sorry for my sins, both intentionally and unintentionally. I want to trust you as my Lord and Savior and make you the center of my life. Please come into my life and make me whole in the person God intended me to be. You came to earth, died for my sins, and rose from the dead, and you did this for me. I want to turn away from sins and death forever. I forsake all my past wrongdoing and ask that you save me from death. I want to be with you in eternity when I leave this earth. Lord Jesus, you say in Matthew 7, verse 7 to 8, Ask and it shall be given. I am asking that you come into my heart, my soul, my mind and body forever. And I pray this in your name. Lord Jesus, I claim the promise made in Matthew 10, verse 1, and Matthew 10, verse 7 to 8, and Luke 10, verse 18 to 19. And I claim this free gift you gave me as your child by the power given me. 
in the above named scriptures. I now take authority over these spiritual forces and wickedness in the unseen world. I declare and decree that this applies to any of all demonic entities, unclean spirit, shadowy figures, any aliens, any UFOs, or anything that is not of you and within the sound of my voice. I bound all of you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Command you out of me right now in the name of Jesus Christ and do not return. I bound up the opening in which you came in by the blood of Jesus Christ. I resent any invitation instead that you are no longer welcome or allowed into my life. I am not cutting any cables or lines to the past via generational curses by my family who have gone before me. I cut any unhealthy relationship, curses between me and my spouse. I cut and cast out any word curses that have been put on myself, my children, my spouse. I give Jesus Christ free reign to have the Holy Spirit heal my wounds, created from these long-standing curses and wounds. I seal all these wounds that have allowed this opening to the enemy in the name of the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I ask that you descend the Holy Spirit upon me right now. Fill us with your love, Father. Fill me with your grace and mercy. I invite you and yield to you absolutely and complete authority in healing any ritual in my mind that are of the enemy and not of you. Lord Jesus, I give you full authority and ask that you use your holy angels come around me and my family and protect us from the enemy. Lord Jesus, I ask that you cleanse my heart, my mind, my soul, and make me righteous and clean in your eyes, in Jesus' mighty name. By the power given to me in Ephesians 6, verse 12 to 17, and by the blood of Jesus Christ, who I claim as my only Lord and Savior and ruler of all heaven and earth, I command you out of my mind, I command you out of my body, I command you out of my soul, my spirit, I command you out of my house, my vehicles, my place of work, I command you out of my children, my wife, and I bind you up and cast you out of me, Go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am now a child of the living God, and through the power of Christ Jesus' blood, I am claiming power over you as promised to me in Jesus' word in Ephesians 1 verse 19 to 22. I claim absolute authority and power over you as a result of love Jesus' name, being the highest authority, any name or word spoken in the universe. If anyone invited you here in the past, you are now uninvited. If you thought you had license to be here, you were wrong. That license is now revoked. I command you to get out now. You are now welcome or allow in my mind, my body, my soul, or any aspect of my life. Go now in the name of Jesus. I command you to go now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bound up all my windows, all my doors, all my vents, all my attic, any vehicles, place of work, or any portal into this dwelling. And you are to live right now. And I will continue to bind you in the name of Jesus. I command all demons to go now. I bound you with the blood of Jesus Christ and cast you into the pit or wherever Lord Jesus Christ tells you to go. You have no power over me. You have no legal authority over me. I do not want you. I rebuke you. And I claim God's free gift to me. That was bought and paid for through the blood payment through Jesus Christ. I break all generational curses of pride, of rebellion, of loss and poverty, witchcraft, idolatry, any death, any destruction, any failure, sickness, infirmity, fear, and rejection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command all generational spirit operating in my life to curses to be bound and cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. I command all spirit of lust and perversion, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, immorality to come out my sexual character tonight in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of hurt, of rejection, fear and anger, wrath and sadness, depression, discouragement, grief, bitterness, unforgiveness to come out of my emotions tonight in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of confusion, forgetfulness, mind control, mental illness, double-mindedness, fantasy, pain, pride and memory we call to come out of my mind tonight in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of schizophrenia and I command all spirit of double-mindedness, rejection, rebellion, and root bitterness to come out tonight in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of guilt, of shame, and condemnation to come out of my conscience tonight in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of pride, stubbornness, disobedience, rebellion, self-will, selfishness, and arrogance to come out of my will tonight in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of addiction to come out of my appetite in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, divination to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit operating in my head, my eyes, my mouth, my tongue, and throat to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirit operating in my chest and lungs to come out in the name of Jesus. 
I come in all spirit in my back and spine to come out in the name of Jesus. I come in all spirit operating in my stomach, my navel and abdomen to come out in the name of Jesus. I come in all spirit operating in my heart, my spleen, my kidneys, my liver, pancreas to come out in the mighty name of Jesus. I come in all spirit operating in my sexual organs to come out tonight in the name of Jesus. I come in all spirit operating in my hands, my arms, my legs and feet to come out in the name of Jesus. I come in all demons operating in my skeletal system, including my bones, my joints, my knees and elbows to come out in the name of Jesus. I come in all spirit operating in my glands, endocrine system to come out in the name of Jesus. I come in all spirit operating in my blood and circulatory system to come out tonight in Jesus' name. I've come in all spirit operating in my muscles, muscular system to come out in the name of Jesus. I come in all religious spirit of doubt, unbelief, error, heresy, and tradition that came in through religion to come out tonight in the name of Jesus. I come in all spirit from my past that are hindering my presence and future. Come out in Jesus' name. I come in all ancestral spirit that hindered through my ancestors to come out tonight in the name of Jesus. I come in all hidden spirit hiding in any part of my life to come out tonight in the name of Jesus. I am free tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. To God be all the glory. Amen.